Susan Cain, when anyone who watches TED Talks hears that name, they know instantly who you are because your TED Talk on the power of introverts has been viewed more than 40 million times. In your early career, you were an attorney, a lawyer. Did your experience in the legal profession give you confidence as a public speaker or did you have to grow into that role? I had to grow into that role. And I would say, you know, during all the time that I was a lawyer and in law school, I just gritted my teeth through the times that I had to do public speaking. And, you know, and, and I chose a legal career as a corporate attorney and not as a litigator, partly because I hated speaking, public speaking so much at the time. Um, so no, it was really only when I became a writer and like I cared so much about what I was writing. I didn't want my fear of speaking to stand in the way of getting out the message about my books. So that was when I really started figuring out how I was going to overcome this thing. Um, Take and- us on that journey. How did you overcome that anxiety that most people feel about public speaking? Um, the way to overcome any fear, particularly speaking, but really anything is to expose yourself to the thing you fear in very small doses. So you can't start out by giving TED Talks. You have to start out like exactly the opposite. You know, I, I, I recommend people to go to Toastmasters, um, which is designed to give you a safe and supportive environment where it doesn't matter how much you screw up and you can take as much time as you need. It, it could take you years. It, it, maybe it will take you years until you feel comfortable, but little by little by little, you're basically retraining your brain to right now, if you're a nervous speaker, it's your brain thinks that being on a stage is dangerous in the way that a saber toothed tiger is dangerous. So your brain is telling you, get the hell off the stage. Um, what you want to be doing is having enough successful experiences and these small bite sized steps that you're retraining your brain, that the stage is not dangerous. You know, it's more of a daffodil than a tiger. 